Okay, so we've got a we've got a very interesting, uh, rather nice little problem here, um, that gave a lot of people a lot of problems when it came to the exam. So it's going to test out our ability to manipulate number and particularly to think about decimals and fractions. All right, so um, let's have a look at the examiner's remarks. Apparently, a few students knew. Uh, sorry, few students knew how to answer this question by using the given statement. So that's this statement up here. And so most, uh, the majority of students tried to do a long division in part A and a long multiplication in part B. So in other words, they just used, they just skipped this information up here. Uh, they looked at this and thought, okay, I can divide 81.92 by 32. I'll use the long division method that I was taught, the uh, standard algorithm using the bus stop um, idea. And then here they again used the standard algorithm, uh, the column method of um, long, uh, long multiplication. So, um, and you know, it looks as though uh, a lot of them um, made some mistakes there. And the mistake that people would generally make here is they will not understand what to do with the decimal point and so they'll either have it um, have their answer 10 times or 100 times bigger or smaller than what it should be and of course with only one mark they're not going to get any marks at all for answer unless they get the correct answer so how would we tackle this so that we don't make those sorts of mistake we get the correct answer and we use this information above given that 25.6 times 32 equals 819.2. Okay, well, the very first thing I'd want to do here is estimate roughly what the answer um, is that we, we, the sort of thing that we should expect. So I can start by saying, well, 81.92 divided by 32, it's not equal to, approximately equal to, let's just erase that, approximately equal to uh, 80 divided by 30. Yeah? Okay. And 80 divided by 30, divide top and bo bottom by 10, we just cancel these zeros here, and we get 8 divided by 3 equals 2 and 2 thirds. So it doesn't take long to just quickly estimate an answer and the value of that is that if we do make a mistake in the calculation that we're now going to do uh, we'll be able to see that we've made some sort of error and check uh, and, and, and change uh, you know, spot the error and uh, change the result and hopefully pick up that, that uh, valuable one mark all right let's do this then so we've got 81.92 divided by 32. And we've got this information up here that says 819.2. So we've got the same figures here, but we've got um, 10 times larger number here. So 10 times 81.92 gives us 819.2. And that should give us the clue about how to proceed, because if we put this equal to 819 what have we done? We've multiplied this by 10. So anything that we do to one side of a division symbol, we must do the same to the other side. In other words, we must do the same to the, the um, numerator as we do to the denominator. So if I multiplied the top by 10 to get 819.2, I'm going to multiply the bottom by 10, 10 times 32 then. And what I can do next having rearranged it like that, is replace the 819.2 by these numbers here, because 819.2 is equal to 25.6 times 32. Okay, divided by 10, let's extend that, divided by 10 times 32. And so 32 cancels, top and bottom, giving us 25.6 divided by 10. 
In other words, what we want now, and again, a mistake can creep in here. Often what people do is instead of dividing by 10 they multiply by 10 and the way to avoid that i think is to think well what is, what are we doing when we divide by 10 we're, we're trying to find a tenth of 25.6 so it's going to be less than it's going to be 10 times smaller than 25.6 in other words it's going to be 2.56 and now finally we've got our double check with our estimate well our estimate was two and two thirds and 2.56 is a little more than two and a half so very close to our estimate here so we can be certain of our result okay now the second part here is going to be just well more or less the same method but slightly trickier so let's start with our estimate so what do we think this is going to turn out to be? What, what, what rough figure should we end up with? So if I write estimate, we've got 0.256 times 320. Well, that's going to be pretty close to 0.25 is a quarter. So I'm going to say it's approximately equal to a quarter times 320. In other words, 320 divided by 4, which is going to give us 16 divided by uh, 160 divided by 2, rather. If, uh, so the answer is going to be 80 or thereabouts. So, great. Now we can tackle the problem. 0 0.256, whoops, 0 0.256 times 320 equals well i'm going to use these numbers here again so i've got 25.6 now that's got 10, 100 times bigger rather uh, because the decimal point here has moved one two to the right or if you like the number has moved two places to the left so this is now um well if what i want to do here i think i think the, the best way to think about this is if I divide by a hundred, do I get the same number as I had here? So 25.6 divided by a hundred is a hundredth of 25.6, so a hundred times smaller. And yes, this is what this is 0.256 is a hundred times smaller than 25.6. So we've done that part. Now, here we've got. 320 and we've got a 32 up here so I want to write 32 times 32 what's happened to this 32 well this time it's got smaller than the number here rather than the bigger and so I must have to multiply this by 10 to get the same number here 32 times 10 is 320 so I all I've done here is it was a little bit more complicated than what I did here there were, there were a couple of things operations that I needed to get right here sometimes I was moving the decimal point to the left sometimes to the right but I was checking all the time back with the original that I wasn't changing the numbers at all so 320 is 32 times 10 and 0.256 is 25.6 divided by 100 so I, all I've done is rearrange these figures here and that's really useful because now what I can do is I can cancel so uh, divide top and bottom by 10 means I lose that 10 there let's make that clear lose that 10 there and lose one of those zeros so it just becomes 10 at the bottom in other words what I have now is 25 0.6 times 32 divided by 10 and 25.6 times 32 well that's exactly what I've got up here so I can replace 25.6 times 32 by 819.2 okay so this becomes 819.2 divided by 10 and again, 
just as we had before, if I divide by 10, uh, it's the same as multiplying by a tenth, so it becomes a tenth smaller. So I want 819.2, move the decimal point to the left, so it becomes 81.92. So my answer is 81.92. And I should be pleased with that because that's very close again to my estimate, 80 and here 81.92. So I think I've got the right result. So I hope that's helpful. What I've tried to show you is that if we work through these problems, thinking carefully about the scale that we should get on every occasion and also checking back all the time to make sure uh, that we're, we're, everything we're doing is sounding reasonable. So keeping an eye on everything so that we, we, we don't just automatically follow a routine. We're making sure all the time that, what, that the answers we're write, writing down are correct. And finally, the technique of estimating to the, at the start or at the end what the answer should be and checking that against the answer. Okay.